Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the invocation. Delivered by House Chaplain Margaret Grun Kibben. Would you pray with me? Still our hearts, O oh God, in this moment, as overwhelmed as we are with grief, shock, uncertainty, even anger, and all the other emotions that invade this hallowed occasion. Sanctify this place with your holy presence. Then send upon us the comfort of your spirit, that as we mourn a life too quickly taken from us, we may find joy in knowing that in the time we were privileged to share with Brian, living, loving, and laughing, you have indelibly touched our hearts by his kind and unassuming manner as son, brother, beloved, friend, and colleague. Send upon us your peace, which is beyond our understanding, but which allows us to believe that in Brian's sacrifice, we are given the courage to look for and safeguard its purpose so that it was not in vain. May your steadfast love be ever with us and abide with us in these days and, the, and those that follow. May Brian's memory forever be a blessing to his family, to his friends, his compatriots, and to this country. We offer this prayer to you in your strong and holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Charles E. Schumer, Majority Leader of the United States Senate. Fellow congressional leaders, Mayor Bowser, officers <clears throat> of the Metropolitan Police Department, the United States Capitol Police, Officer Brian Sicknick's commanders. The Book of Matthew reminds us, blessed are the peacekeepers, for they shall be called the children of God. Today we gather to honor Officer Brian Sicknick, a New Jersey native, a National Air Guard veteran, and a 12-year member of the Capitol Police Force, a peacekeeper, not only in duty, but in spirit. Talk to his colleagues, and they will tell you that Brian was a kind and humble man with profound inner strength, the quiet rock of his unit. They will tell you that Brian was dependable, never missed a radio call. They will, they will tell you that he took great pride in his job, never more so than when he became a mountain bike officer on the first responders unit. And they will tell you that Brian wouldn't have liked this attention, and that if he were here, he'd be the first to puncture the somber moment with his sharp sense of humor. Brian was a peacekeeper who loved his dogs and his girlfriend Sandra and his family and the New Jersey Devils. He was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time and a day, on a day when peace was shattered. I had the honor of meeting Officer Sicknick's family last night and I learned that Gladys's mom had graduated from James Madison High School two years before me and that his aunt, Brian's aunt, had graduated a few years after me. We spent about 25 minutes, Brian, his mom, dad, aunt, and other relatives, just reminiscing about Brooklyn and about Brian. And I said to them at the end, with a bit of a lump in my throat, you are such good, decent, fine people. I didn't know Brian. But knowing you, I'm sure he was exactly that way, too. And all you have to do is look at his picture in the 
memorial book, the little program here, and you could see it. What a good, kind, decent man he was. That Brian and his family were made to pay such a high price for his devoted service in the Capitol was a senseless tragedy, one that we are still grappling with. It has left deep scars here in this building among his friends and his colleagues, as have, the two, as have the tragic deaths of two of Brian's fellow officers in the days since his passing, Officer Liebengood, Officer Smith. Let us be a comfort who all, to all who continue to recover from injuries, seen and unseen, from the attack on January the 6th. We have mental health counseling for officers and staff. Anyone who needs help or just someone to talk to should know there are services available and that we are all here for you, just as Brian was always there to take a young officer under his wing and help them get used to their new unit. Blessed are the peacekeepers like Brian. Let us be peacekeepers now in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. It is my official and sad honor to welcome Officer Brian Sicknick and many who loved, respected, and were protected by him to the United States Capitol Rotunda for a recognition of his life. To Brian's parents, Gladys and Charles, his partner, Sandra, 
his brother Ken and Craig, and the entire SIGMIC family and the Capitol Police Force, thank you for giving Congress this privilege of honoring Brian with this ceremony. We have heard from you, from uh, Brian's brothers, Ken and Craig, that he was the kindest of all, the fittest of all, just a, a very special person. And again, we heard from his entire family, as the distinguished leader said, what a special person he was, how kind he was. And we know from his service on the Capitol Police Force how patriotic he was. We gather today united in grief, gratitude, and solemn appreciation for the service and sacrifice of Officer Brian Sicknick. We respect his service, certainly as a member of the Capitol Police Force, but also as a patriot to his country in other arenas. In 1997, he joined the New Jersey Air National Guard, under which he was deployed twice to defend our national security. And in 2008, he continued that commitment when he joined the United States Capitol Police. We saw last night how Brian's patriotic service commanded the respect with a visit by the President of the, uh, President of the United States and the First Lady, who came to pay respects to Brian. Now, today, the presence of distinguished guests is a testament to the great respect that so many have for Brian and for the Capitol Police Force. As we are joined by the Capitol Police Force, members of Congress, the Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, our Mayor of the District of Columbia, and members of the Metropolitan Police, and we thank them for their service. Again, members of the Capitol Police and other law enforcement leaders. Our promise to Brian's family is that we will never forget his sacrifice. We must be vigilant as what President Lincoln refer to as the harsh artillery of time. We will never forget. With your permission, may we be worthy to carry Brian in our hearts. We will never forget. Each day, when members enter the Capitol, this temple of democracy, we will remember his sacrifice and then others that day who fought so hard to protect the Capitol and the Congress. And throughout our nation's history, including Officer Jacob Chestnut and De uh, Detective John Gibson, and we're blessed to be joined today by Officer Chestnut's wife, Gwendolyn. The courage of these heroes brings honor, brings luster to our Constitution and our democracy. It is fitting this day that we have been graced by performance of America the Beautiful, as you can see by the program, by the Air Force Band Singing Sergeants, Appropriate because, again, Brian was a member of the Air Force National Guard. And they sang, O oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country love, and mercy more than love. Through the heroism of Arthur Sicknick and all who defend our great country, God has truly shed his grace on us, on America, from sea to sh brotherhood, from sea to shining sea. May it be a comfort to offer Signet's family that so many mourn with them and pray for them during this sad time. May it be a blessing for us to have many of us who have known Brian Sicknick, those of us who now admire him, and that we say to his friends and family, we may be a comfort to you that so many mourn your loss. May he rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction delivered by Senate Chaplain Barry C. Black. Let us pray. Eternal God, for whom no dawn arises and no evening sun sets, we turn to you for light, 
when our minds are dark and for strength when our days are long. We honor you for the life of Officer Brian D. Sicknick, a hero proved in liberating strife. Lord, Brian indeed more than self, his country loved and mercy more than life. Bless those who fought for freedom with him, prepared also to give their last full measure of devotion. Comfort the Sicknick family. Comfort all who mourn. Help us to see death as you see it, not the end, but the beginning, not a wall, but a door, not a dark road, but a path that leads to eternal light. May Officer Sicknick's sacrifice prompt us to ensure that this nation, conceived in liberty, will have a new birth of freedom. Grant that our eternal vigilance will keep this government of the people, by the people, and for the people safe and secure. We pray in your sovereign name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and remain at your seats until escorted by the sergeants at arms staff to pay your respects.